Hi, in this video I'm going to introduce the SpikeFun Inventors Kit. Over the next few videos I'm going to show how to use this kit, step through a few of the tutorials and by the end of it you're going to have an excellent knowledge of electronics, how to hook up things yourself and make some really cool things. With this kit, I've chosen this one because it has such a variety of um, inputs and outputs that you can use. And basically, it's, it's going to give you a really good understanding of um, many of the common uh, pieces of electronics and how to interact with them. So, you know, when you want something to automatically pour a coffee, you know, we've got the, the servo here, you'll be able to use that or the motor. If you have a temperature sensor and you want to output the display to an LCD, we've got one of those. It's just really going to show you how to do a lot of these things. So I'm just going to quickly go through what's in the kit. Um, basically, if you get one of these, you can follow along. It's going to be fun. It's going to be interesting. <laughs> really, I've, I've been doing electronics for years and I still enjoy it. So we have um, the, they call it the Redboard, but it's basically an Arduino, if you've heard of those on the internet. It's the brains of the whole operation. Um, plug in power, plug it to your computer, program it. So we're going to show you how, how to do programming. And uh, then we can hook up the inputs and outputs. So an input might be, um, say, a button, and an output might be a motor. It's a fairly simple one, but, um, you know, we're going to learn a lot more than that. We've got the, so that's the brains of the operation. We've got this, it's a breadboard. Um, so basically you connect your lights and um, wires into this when you're hooking up the circuit. It keeps everything in, in one place. It's easy to put things in and take them, take them out. Very easy like that. The LCD, um, you've seen one on, on your microwave. Basically you can put text um, onto it and it can it can read you a bedtime story if you really want but um, it can it can display readings from temperature sensors or you know how fast your motor is going or something like that um, we've got hookup wire so this um, connects into the breadboard and um, if we if we do it right you can see that it connects in there um, and I'll show you how to use those but basic, basically, we've also got a flex sensor, which is pretty cool. Um, a relay, so you use relays to switch um, higher power uh, things. Um, don't go plugging it into your wall socket. Um, a motor, we've seen motors before. Um, a multicolor light uh, transistor, which is used like a valve. Um, a light dependent resistor. Um, so basically the the light hitting it will um, We can read how much light is there and we can use it to turn things on and off LEDs, so they're effectively lights light emitting diodes a few of those a uh, Servo so basically um, by sending a signal you can tell it how far to rotate and turn some cool stickers Some resistors, they're uh, an important electronic component that limits current, we'll get to that. An IC, so an integrated uh, circuit. Um, we'll have to have a look at, at what this IC does. There's many different kinds. It's the board. The USB for plugging it in. The board for mounting everything. The, uh, the microcontroller goes there and, and your board goes like, like that, or maybe the other way around, most likely. And what we're going to be going off, well, mainly, for some of the, um, the more broad topics, if it ever gets there, is the manual. That's about it. So, I hope that's been a uh, nice uh, introduction. Um, for you. Um, in the next video we'll start going through some of the tutorials and you know we'll start at the basics making a light blink and eventually move on to being able to program the motor to spin as you want to 
to go off a button and things like that. Hope you enjoy. Cheers.